All right, ready? Mm -hmm. How many pounds is two kilograms to the nearest decimal? One, two, How? three, ten, fifteen, oh, wait. eight, two. seven. No, it's 4.5. You're very close, Roxanne. It's 4.4. .4. Good job. <sighs> It's because I work out, and then the kilograms are on the weights. So the, I just yeah, had I didn't that. know that. <laughs> All right, ready? Who sings the song, I'm Yours? Jason Mraz. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what movie won the best picture in 2020? Moonlight? Mm -hmm. La La Land. No. Shape of Water. No. Rev this is Green Revenant. Book. Revenant. This is embarrassing. Green Book. Uh, uh, it, it was Parasite. You guys, come on. Uh, it was the I more I didn't, What foreign I didn't even see movie? That. It was the first foreign movie to win best picture. Yeah, but you should have said what foreign movie then. No. Where's Kai? That would, where's Kai? It was the only foreign movie to ever win Best Picture. No. What is the most popular breed for police dogs? German oh, Shepherd. Belgian Malinois. Yep. German Shepherd. Who is J-Lo currently married to? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Fuck. Roxanne. First. Who played Batman in Christopher Nolan's adaptations? Chris, uh, Christian Bale. <laughs> Christian Bale, yeah. yes. What is the capital She's... of Rhode Island? Providence. 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 <laughs> Roxanne got it before Rachel. <laughs> That's... No, she said Providence. No, I said Providence. She said Providence. Yeah. She said Providence and okay, then Miss Christian, Christian, Christian Bale. Christian Providence with me. What does the word bumfuzzle mean? But. Harry. Spicy. <laughs> confused. Uh, yes, confused. Good job. What instrument did Duke El Ellington play? A saxophone. A flute. A guitar. A clarinet. A piano. piano. A drum. Oh, yes. good job. And the final one. How much caffeine is typically in eight ounces of coffee? It's a range. 50 ounces, 50 milligrams. A 80 milligrams. 80 milligrams to 100 milligrams. Rachel crushed it today. So Rachel got six, Rox got three. So Rachel Woo. got three points, Rox got one and a half. She, I needed that. <laughs> she was stressed out. <laughs> I didn't realize these are getting important. <laughs>to another episode of Broken Brilliant. Broken Stay smart, Brilliant. Broke. So now we're going to get into our normal show and to once again recap that. Each of the girls write questions for each other. There are seven rounds. Uh, each right answer is one point, except for the final round where you get three clues. Well, each, the more hints you get, the less points you get. So you want to get it on the first clue. Boom. Okay, now we're going to get right into it. And this is, you know, it's actually interesting. The last couple episodes... Every single time that I start with Rachel, Roxanne wins. And every yeah. time I start with Roxanne, Rachel wins. Rachel wins. That is interesting. Like, actually. I have to say, uh, Rachel loses a lifeline. So, Rox, oh. what lifeline do you want her to lose? Uh, I'm gonna go, I know. I'm going to go phone a friend. Again, you really don't want me calling Jack. I know. <laughs> Jack is too good. Jack, I just want you to know, shout out to you. You are that dangerous to yeah, Roxanne. Yeah, I'm like nervous. <laughs> Round one, general knowledge. Nice. <laughs> this is for... Rachel. How old was OJ Simpson when he died? 76, final answer. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend sent me the funniest meme. It was someone... It was someone pouring out um, orange juice, and it said, pour in one out for OJ. Can you see it now? Yeah. All right, Roxanne, you ready? Yes. What Midwest team has the number one pick in the 2024 NFL draft? Okay, why are you going to ask me this? Well, I gave you a hint in the question. <laughs> yeah, Midwest. But just do you know why a team gets the number one pick? Because they're the worst. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Midwest team. Hint. Nice. Lifeline, hit him. He's going to give you the easiest hint. No, Let's he's not. It. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. It is a city that your host had tenure in. Oh, Chicago. The Chicago Bears? I'm going to say the Chicago Bears final answer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know the teams. I just don't know who was the worst. I was actually a little bit worried that because... Patriots were so bad last season that she was going to say Patriots. Well, that's why it's it but is I said that you said Midwest. Yeah. yeah. Round two, music. Okay. What is the title of this song by the script that goes? What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you? And what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up and you're okay? I, it's funny because I I know the song, and I like can't get them out. It's why does this happen? See, I, no, no, but that's that's why this type of question is hard. 
what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up and you're okay? What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you? I'm, I'm, I'm like fighting the urge to sing it. I know, that's why I'm like, stop. <laughs> all right, the story so far, final answer. Not even, not even remotely close. That is a band. It's one of my it favorite band. bands. That's <laughs> okay. The correct is answer band. is Break Even. Break Even. Okay, go. give me the song. When a heart break, no, it don't break we'll even. Break even. <laughs> there we go. I was like, where is it? What am I supposed to say when, when, I'm, all when I'm all choked up? Roxanne, you know, which okay. song by Kesha was the longest running billboard number one in 2010? I want to say. The song was a TikTok. Bop. It's either TikTok or We Are Who We Are. I'm going to say TikTok final answer. TikTok on the clock. On the clock. Yeah, that's right. Wait, wait. I have a question. Could you get the sa- same question, but 2014? 2014? Um, Pharrell. Oh, ha- happy. happy. Anyways, Rachel left a fun factoid. Kesha's debut single, TikTok, was the longest running number one single of the year, spending nine consecutive weeks atop the chart. The longest running debut single by a female artist since Debbie Boone in 1977. Oh my gosh. So good job, Kesha, but... Wow. On the song TikTok. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Round three. Movies. Round three. Poopies. <laughs> In the movie 500 Days of Summer, your favorite movie, yeah. who is Summer's favorite Beatle member? I actually do know this because it is my favorite movie. Mm-hmm. It is Ringo Starr, final answer. Is that a joke because Ringo Starr was no one's favorite Beatle? I think right. she just wanted to be different. Yeah, she's, she's super, a, she's, she's a hipster. Really, yeah, she just wants to be annoying. Uh, Yeah, that's right. In the movie 500 Days of Summer, what color was Summer's shirt around 16 minutes into the film? <laughs> blue. There, she wore a lot of blue. Blue, final answer. She only wore blue. Yeah. All right, Rox. Oh what movie goodness. features Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Dane in the lead role? Claire oh. Danes. Claire, Claire Danes. Danes in the lead roles. It's Romeo and Juliet. Final answer. Who directed Romeo and Juliet, Rox? Um, wasn't it the guy that directed, um, oh my god, what's his name? The guy from Moulin Rouge, Bar... Elvis, too, yeah. Bar something. Baz Luhrmann. Baz Luhrmann. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Good job. Round four. Television. Television. (laughs) All right, Rachel. What Brady Bunch character utters the now famous catchphrase, Marcia, Marcia, Marcia? Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh. I have never seen the Brady Bunch. I don't know anything about the Brady Bunch. Oh. I will not know this answer. So you do have a I lifeline. would take a hint. Can we make that one an explosion? Sure. It is an abbreviation for... A month. A month. Oh, I know it. It's Jan, final answer. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roxanne, in the show Degrassi, what is the nickname of Archie Bald, Archie Rupert Simpson, played by Stefan Brogan? Oh my god. Snake, final answer. The Simpsons. Do, 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 do. Yes. Woo! Me and Kelsey just watched it. High five. That was a, that was a, I will shout out Kelsey. That was a Kelsey question. Round five. Food, snacks, and drink. Which country is the biggest exporter of coffee beans worldwide? Not us in a coffee shop earlier today. <laughs> um, it's definitely not America, even though Hawaii does a lot of them. I think, I think it's like Brazil. If it's America, I'm about to be pissed, but I'm pretty sure it's South America. And what are you doing? Me? Yeah. Oh, oh I have Tourette syndrome, Rachel. So <laughs> sometimes I tick and I can't help it. All right. <gasps> I thought he, I seriously thought he was going to be Morse code. He's like, <laughs> listen, I love my husband. I love him so much. It's like gross how much she does love him. Like, yeah, it makes chill people upset. Out, bro. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> now nah, I'm going to say Brazil. Final answer. <clears throat> the suspense is killing us. Is that right? Or is it wrong? It's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What fast food chain opened in 1964 with a menu of 19-cent tacos, tostadas, fries, and 24-cent cheeseburgers? Uh, Why do I want to... Wait, what year? 1964. I'm going to go with Del Taco. Final answer. You guys... I don't know if you guys made it too easy for each other. (laughs) (laughs) 
Because we, we went from, like, last week, no one getting any answers right, practically, <laughs> to just everyone is a win. Factoid, Del Taco brought in $169 in sales on its first day in business, the equivalent of 900 tacos. Things were off to a bold start. Um, just also a little fun fact for that fun fact. That's straight from the Del Taco website. They're just out there toting. They're, like, tooting their own horn out mm-hmm. there. They're like, that's a lot of sales. Round six. Mm-hmm. Do you lose? No. no, no, no. Round five. Me for, for Roxanne. Me. Yeah. Just kidding. Wait, no. We just did Roxanne. <laughs> you didn't do me. No, you didn't do for me. Food. For food. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What did you we went, do wrong? What he, did we do you wrong? Went, no, he went out of order. It should have been for you. The food question. Wait. Do we do the food question? No. Yeah, we just did. That was Del Taco. For oh you. yeah, Del Brazil. Sorry. sorry I'm sorry. right. You're you right. guys are. You're right. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong for once about anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> Round six, dealer's choice. Y'all making me qu- second guess myself. I know. Just, be- just because I fuck up every single episode doesn't mean that I fucked up. You get too excited. Rachel, once you pop, you can't stop is the slogan for which food? <laughs> oh, it sounds really familiar. <laughs> oh, I, I think I do know it. I think it's it sounds familiar because I'm pretty sure it's baby bottle pop. Baby bottle pop. <laughs> Baby bottle pop. Damn, now we sing on this damn podcast. I felt good about baby bottle pop, so I'm going to go baby bottle pop final answer. No, but before I give you the answer. Hubba bubba. No. Nope, it's not gum. Uh, it is something you consume you almost every, every single, single day. day. Me? Yeah. Yes. Every time I'm over here, you are in the Oh, it's Pringles. Yeah. It is Pringles. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. And also, I don't know if you know this, they're not called chips because they're not legally allowed to be called chips because... Is it on the bag? No, because they are not made with potatoes. What are they made they're with? They're made with like wheat, whatever, and it's Salt. literally... They're called crisps. I don't remember which... We're on six. Which car brand is known as the ultimate driving machine? This is for Roxanne. This is for me. I, I wrote that for Roxanne. Yeah, I already gave you yours. No, you didn't. No. It was Wait, the yes, Pringles. yes, yes, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Guys. Okay, I just have to ask. This is dealer's choice. When am I a car girly? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, uh, no. Well, you can do phone a friend. Um, Jake D'Onofrio would for sure know this. Let's FaceTime Jake. I feel like he's not going to answer me. He's going to be like, why the fuck is she FaceTiming me? Maybe you should oh, text oh. him. Oh. Hi. You're my lifeline for my our podcast. Okay. So no pressure. Oh, here's Jake. Hi. What car brand is known for the ultimate driving machine? The ultimate driving machine. Yeah, like that's our slogan. Is it BMW? Oh, is it BMW? Does that? I think, I think it's BMW. Is that our final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. BMW. Is there proof that Jake's not over here looking this up? Oh, yeah, no, no, he's no. laying down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, BMW is correct. Oh, I love you. It's correct. Woo! Yeah. Oh, my God. He had me nervous. Okay, see? So, dealer's what? choice. I know you're not a car girly. Bitch, you had a BMW forever. Okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't like I was like, this is the ultimate driving. <laughs> Your 1998 BMW. Literally. Like, what? Um, <laughs> woo! Round seven. Deconstructed. Ooh. Rachel, you're doing your deadpan face again. <laughs> She's disassociating. I can't help it. That's just what my face looks like. This chain restaurant was founded in 1975 by Larry Levine in Dallas, Texas. Levine? Lavin? Levine? I don't know. Chain restaurant in Texas. What, Texas Roadhouse? Outback Steakhouse? Uh. Okay, give me the next clue, please. This is your two-point clue. It's a popular chain known for its Tex-Mex cuisine. Is this Lazy Dog? <laughs> is this oh, Lazy I Dog? Love lazy Dog. Um, Their apple pie. Oh. What's the score? If if you get it, yeah, let's two, see. Two, four, six, seven and a half. So or seven, seven and a half. So I kind of need to guess. I feel like Lazy Dog's from California, but I'm just gonna go with Lazy Dog. Final answer. Read the one point just to give it to her, and then. So it was wrong. Okay, fine. What is it? Um, the restaurant slogan is, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Applebee's, final answer. 
Chili's. Roxanne. Yeah. The three point clue is this 364 acre place is the second oldest still operating in America. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, second. It's a two point clue. It features attractions such as Millennium Force, Maverick, and Gatekeeper. Rachel, by the way, a comma would go a long way when you're writing these. Hmm. Well, you read it just fine. I know. <laughs> But that was on the fly. I added commas. Oh. Um. Who is a silly goose? I want to say Millennium Force, Maverick. It's um Cedar Point. Final answer. You know, I was really hoping that you would get this right. And. Well, she still has another chance on the one point clue. No, she doesn't because she guessed right. So. Yeah, but. Oh, that's right. But. I was hoping you'd get it right, and you, in fact, got it right. Woo! <laughs> Dude, I literally was like, I went there. But I was like the second oldest? Yeah, second oldest still in operation. I don't know if it's second oldest, wow. period. But oh. Wow, even with a three-point advantage, I still lost. So, wow, yeah, that's pretty, pretty bad. So pretty- maybe there is something to, like, you asking me first. I can't do it. So next it's week, anxiety. I am going to start with asking Roxanne first to switch mm-hmm. it up every three episodes. But now it is a tie- uh, series. It's three to three. Yeah. Wow. Woo. Um, three to three. Next week, Rachel loses another uh, lifeline, and she gets a death sentence. <laughs> Wait, but also, like, stabbing. But also, um, I felt like questions this week were super reasonable for both of us. Yes. Yeah. No, this was, this was much more reasonable. But, like, it's hard to gauge this, though, like, yeah. to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you for watching another episode of Broke and Brilliant. Please tune in every week at on Monday morning. And please follow us on all of our socials. Roxanne? We have Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, and YouTube. And drop us an email if you want to uh, hear any questions. And also, as always, stay smart, not broke.